within a magazine. Now let's take a look at this magazine here that I created in this animation of Superman. So you had a um, an image. It was it's sort of like a GIF image, where um, you you go through multiple images to kind of create an animation, and that's that's how you create animations in Adobe Photoshop. If you don't have the um, content overlay panels, um, that's in the newer CS6. Um, so what you need to do is get an image and what I did with the um, Superman image was I turned it black and white so I duplicated the layer so and then I turned the black and white and then what I did I saved that image and then I deleted a little bit saved another image deleted a little bit more saved another image and what you're doing is you're deleting the top layer so that the bottom layer can be shown and eventually I deleted all of it and it all came back and um, the whole cape could be seen now I'll show you those images and here they are so there's one image and then the next one 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 until we have the full Superman image back. So you got about um, 10 images. Now the animation um, is done in Adobe InDesign. So what we do, we create a new document. Um, I'm just going to pick some random settings here. Okay. And it's going to go across a double page spread. Now, what you do, and it, it's it's a bit weird that you can't have GIF images in InDesign, but um, unless you have the Adobe um, overlay panel and a few other um, new panels that's in the latest CS6, um, this is the way you have to do it. So what we go, um, we just go File and we place, and we one image at a time you place in uh, the sequences of images uh, to get your animation. So let me go and find that image and I'm starting with the black and white and I'm just going to place that into my InDesign document. Perfect. Now before we go ahead and place the next image in, what we need to do is time this. So we click on the image and we go over to animation and we're going to say that we want this to appear when the page loads and you can change the du duration and how many times this happens and, and things like that. I'm just going to leave all the default settings. The only thing I am going to um, change is um, hide until animated. Now that there, we, we, we want the first image to show but not the others. So we're going to be ticking those on the others. So we've got an animation, it's an appear animation. When does this happen? When the page loads. Um, the duration is half a second and it plays once. Um, there's no other effects, no scaling, none of that. And we're, we're going to look at the uh, timing um, once we add in a few more images. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to File, Place, and I'm going to place the next image in, and I'm just going to put it exactly on top. And now with that selected, I'll do an animation on that as well, and this time it's going to be an Appear. On Page Load is correct. But I'm going to tick this one. It says hide until animated. What that is going to do is it's going to hide this image because we don't want to see this image just yet. We only want to see it after the first image has come up. Okay. 
and just check the timing and make sure that that is after the black and white image and it is okay we're ready for the third and we just keep doing this go over to animation make it appear hide until animated check the timing yep it's after we're just going to keep doing this now what I'm going to do I'm going to cut this and I'm going to skip um, skip ahead of time and just show you me doing the last image and then the final output how it's going to look okay I'm just putting in the last two images in now appear hide until animated just check the timing I've got eight and now the last image should go in same goes so we make it appear hide until animated just check the timing let's have a look good timing you could even adjust the uh, delay that's that's going on um, in case one of them's overlapping the other one but let's export it and see how it goes saving it as Superman animation on the desktop and that'll do let's hit OK Now the first page was blank and there's our animation now obviously you can speed it up within um, InDesign just change the um, the timing and you can have a quicker GIF you could even make it repeat itself now in my magazine you saw the trailer for the new Superman movie come up a little article and stuff like that so the same thing goes it's all about the timing uh, you've got eight, nine images sitting on top of each other that you've animated and you've timed so that they go in um, after each other in a nice little animation. Um, it didn't. It doesn't have to be a, a, a standalone picture that just the color moves in. It could be a GIF image uh, where you've got moving characters. Um, so just play around with that technique, and I think you guys can come up with.